Yeah. 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 I serve a living God. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Bless the Lord. Thank you. Ah. Let me not get ahead of myself. Ah. And the Lord said unto Moses, I've seen this people. Yeah. And behold, it is a stiff neck. Mm -hmm. A stubborn. Yeah. Stuck in their own way. Praise mm -hmm. the Lord. That's what stiff neck is. That's right. Stiff neck people. Do we have any stiff neck people in here? <laughs> Today? If so, you better repent now before it is too late because God is not pleased with people who put things before him. What else did they do? Well, the Bible said that some of them did shameful things. The King James Version said that they committed fornication. Amen. Paul said in his letter to the saints which were at Ephesians and to the faithful in Christ Jesus, fornication and all uncleanliness or covetousness, let it not be once named among you as become a saint. God is not pleased with fornicators. Paul said in our text, neither let us commit fornication as some of them committed. And in a single day, about 24,000 of them died. Mm -hmm. Let's see. In the book of Numbers, chapter 25, the Bible said that while the Israelites were camped at Shittim, some of the men had sex with Moabite women. Come on. The King James Bible said that they began to commit <coughs> whoredom. Yes. They commit to commit whoredom. I believe that's where the word whore comes from. They, be, they began to commit whoredom. Now, I know that these Israelites should have known, uh, should have known that the scripture says in 2 Corinthians 6 and 14, Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion hath light with darkness? And what concord hath Christ with Belial? Or what part hath he that believeth with an infidel? And what agreement hath the temple of God with idols? For ye are the temple of the living God. As God hath said, I will dwell in them and walk in them, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. Israel knew that they were God's people. So why would they intermingle with those who were not God's people? The ultimate division of God's People, the ultimate division before God is better is, is between those who are in Christ and those who are not in Christ. Therefore, believers must not be in voluntary partnership or an intimate association with unbelievers. For such relationships can corrupt their relationship with Christ. Come on. As it did in this situation. They had sex with Moabite women. And these women invited these Israelite men to, to ceremonies where sacrifices were offered to their gods. The men ate the meat from the sacrifice and worshipped the Moabite gods. This made the Lord angry because they had worshipped the god Baal Perra. Yes. Their lust for the Moabite women had overpowered their senses. And they were too busy thinking about satisfying their lustful flesh. Mm -hmm. The scripture, the scripture did not even cross their mind. Thou shalt have no other gods before me until it was too late. The Lord said unto Moses, take the Israelite leaders who are responsible for this and have them killed in front of my sacred tent, where everyone can see. And Moses told Israel's officials, each of you must put to death any of your men who worship them. And uh, behold, one of the Israelite men brought a Mennonite woman to meet his family in the sight of Moses. And in the sight of all the congregation of the children of Israel who were weeping before the door of the sacred tent. Phineas, the grandson of Aaron, the priest, saw the couple and left the crowd. He found the spear and followed the man into his tent, where he ran the spear through the man and into the woman's stomach. 
Then, then the Lord immediately stopped punishing Israel with a deadly disease. But 24,000 Israelites had already died. Listen and take heed. God is not pleased. If you belong to him, then you better act like it. Tell your neighbors, you better act like you belong to him. Because God is not going to share you with the devil. I said, God is not going to share you with the devil. You cannot drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of devils. You cannot be partakers of the Lord's table and the table of devils. You cannot love some people in the body of Christ and hate other people in the body of Christ. For what saith the scripture? It says, if a man say, I love God and hateth his brother, he's a liar. Is that scripture? Yes. For he that loveth not his brother whom he hath seen, how can he love God whom he hath not seen? Huh? Yeah. It is time for us to get it right. Yeah, that's right. Do you not know that if there is somebody in the church that you can't stand to be around? This is not God. It's not God. Because if you, if, you, if you are a child of God, then you ought to be able to stand all of your brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. yes. If there is somebody that you can't stand, then you need to check your salvation. Yes. Because the Bible says, he that says he is in the light mm -hmm. and hated his brother is still in darkness. Yes, he is. Huh? Even until now, even until right now, if you say that you love God but you can't stand somebody in this church, glory to God, you are still walking in darkness. There is no light in you. There is no light in you because God is love. And if God is love and God is living in you, then love ought to be living in you. And if love is living in you, then you ought to love everybody. You ought to be able to embrace everybody. I don't care if somebody in the church is not lovely. You love them anyway. You let the hell right out of them. You keep on walking in love. Ain't no need for both of you walking around hating each other. Come on now. I can't hate, I, I, I hate her, and, 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 and no. Sister Mel will look at me and say, I hate Reverend McCoy, and I look back at Sister Mel, I hate Sister Mel. <laughs> come on now. <laughs> Whoa, we both going to lift our eyes. Yeah. Hating one another. Come on now. That's the Lord. Come on, that's right. What if God hated, what if, what if we did something against God and God said, I hate him, and he ain't going to come into my kingdom, I hate him. If God said, I can't stand him, I, look at him, look at him with his stiff neck. The more I tell him to do right, the more he do wrong. I hate him. I hate him, y'all. I, I hate him. If God said he hates you, there's no hope for you. It's the Lord. And let me tell you something. We ought to be like our daddy. Come on, if God can love us in spite of our mm, in spite of our mess, then why can't we love people in spite of their mess? None of us in here are perfect. That's right. None of us in here is perfect. Glory to God. If 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 if. If you hate somebody for what they've done. Then what are you doing? That's right. Think about it. What are you doing? I'm hating on you and you're hating on me. <laughs> Two wrongs don't make a right. That's right. Somebody got to love somebody. And let me tell you something. Don't just love them in your clique. All right. All right. <laughs> we got a click over here. We got a click over there. 
I love those over here in my clique, but I, I can't stand them over there in that clique. Come on. God has ought not to have no clique. Come on. Come on. The only clique you ought to have is be clicking with God. Yes. 